What's up guys, it's Brian here, and today we are going to try to print some PLA plastic on the DaVinci 2.0. Today we're working with the Hatchbox 1.75mm PLA filament. I picked up some white, and I also picked up some black, which is what I've got uh, put into my printer right now. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with PLA plastic opposed to ABS, so I decided to pick some up to try out on my printer. Let's get started. Alright, I got it um, put into my extruder number one, and I made this nifty little hook here for it. So it'll roll with ease. If you have a DaVinci 2.0 printer, you can uh, install this filament straight into the cartridge and then just put the cartridge in like normal, but um, that takes a lot of effort and you know, a lot of times these spools are bigger than those spools, so just get yourself a hook like this and you can um, just set it out like that externally and it works just fine. Alright, as far as the software goes, you uh, just want to import whatever you're going to be printing. Right now we'll do a Master Sword. This is a Master Sword from Zelda. Anyways. Um, so we're going to create this piece right here. Just going to right click on it and choose the extruder that your PLA filament is in. Ours is an extruder 1, so that's right. And uh, you can location on the bed the way you want, but this looks good to me. Right in the middle. And for specific um, settings for the print. Right under materials you can go and click PLA. That's the secret. And that's pretty much uh, changes everything you need. Um, I'm going to do some support here. 15%. I'll leave it at 0.3 layer height. Um, everything else should be good. After a couple seconds your uh, print should be ready and you just go ahead and click print. And I'll upload it to your printer, just like normal. Now the main difference between PLA and ABS plastic is that the PLA is going to be... Um, it is going to be a little more fragile if you do smaller pieces, but it's supposed to be... Uh, I guess a little more flexible. A cool thing about it also is that if you soak in acetone, it's supposed to become rubberized. It's supposed to be kind of like um, silicone. So I'm going to try that out for a, a little project I'm doing for my watch, which has a silicone strap. But for now, let's just see if it can actually print on the DaVinci 2.0. And it looks like it's all heated up, so let's go ahead and watch it print. Alright, so far as we can see, it looks like it's just laying on the print bed, just like normal. Um, so the PLA setting in the software, it's best to change the temperatures a little bit. Um, just what are more recommended for PLA plastic. Now when you print in PLA, it's supposed to um, give off a more maple-y smell. Kind of smells like syrup or something sweet, opposed to like burning Legos. And it's supposed to be a lot, uh, it's supposed to give off a lot less emissions, so it is supposed to be a little safer. I mean, the ABS isn't, isn't technically dangerous, but um, they just know that PLA uh, is a lot more, I guess, environmental friendly. Something on those lines. But we'll just let this do its thing and see what the final result looks like.
Alright, so now as you can see, um, my piece is finished printing in PLA plastic on the DaVinci 2.0. And it turned out well. I haven't uh, sanded the back yet or anything and finished getting the supports off, but um, it looks pretty good so far. I mean, it's a little bit shinier than ABS. The texture looks about the same. It's definitely more flexible. It's bendy. Um, and then the coolest thing is that I heard if you soak uh, PLA printed pieces in acetane, opposed to dissolving them, it'll rubberize them. So it'll it'll be even more flexible. And it'll be kind of like a silicone. So for my next um, project for the PLA, I'm going to design and print out a piece for my Nixon watch, which is silicone. And it's a little band that goes right here. It broke off. But anyways, I'm going to design one of those, print a new one out, and um, see if I can use it for my watch, if it's silicone-y enough to use.